Hello my friends, my name is Bogdan Kurta, I'm a composer, a singer, a orchestrator, sound engineer and member in the Musical Research Center of Pompidou, Paris. My speciality is programmation of musical instruments, especially Yamaha arrangers. We are together today with a special occasion because we are comparing two exceptional instruments. Uh, we are speaking about Yamaha Tyros 2 and Yamaha Tyros 3, which you can see here in my back. Uh, on the top is the older Yamaha Tyros 2 and downer here it's the Yamaha Tyros 3. Please tell me in the comments uh, which you like more, why do you like more, what is your preference, if you own maybe in the past such an um, instrument. After we'll have uh, also some conclusions, my opinion and also some technical difference between them, advantages and disadvantages, but let's listen now to this amazing comparison.
How I said at the beginning, two great instruments, each one at his time. It was the head of the line, the best of the best from Yamaha and I have the courage to say in the world. They have advantages also on top of the modern instruments like Genos and uh, a little older Tyros 5 because they have some hidden technologies. So we need to start somewhere what is more obvious, the display. Yes, the Yamaha Tyros 3 has a new display, a better display, it has a more light, uh, brighter colors, how you maybe can see in my back, uh, at Tyros 2 the display maybe doesn't have so much light, true is that uh, the Toshiba display that they use on the Tyros 2, it was obsolete on the moment of the release of the Tyros 2 Arranger workstation. This doesn't mean that it's not a good display, it is good, it has also the advantage that you can control the brightness and the contrast uh, actually uh, on the top of the display, it has an analogical magic wheel. Many complain about two lines appearing on the display and the display dying uh, at one time, I never had such a problem. In my opinion, the bad manipulation of the instrument is the cause of these problems because they have the tendency to put the display up and down, I don't know how many times, every time when they are using the instrument, which is not correct. Uh, it has a cable there, a data cable, uh, through the video information is traveling and of course uh, putting the display all the time up and down is damaging the cable. Uh, the correct use of the instrument is to fix the display in your comfortable position and simply let it like this. Only when you transport the instruments you need to move the display down. The other very obvious thing uh, from the beginning after I bought the Tyros through, from the first week actually I started to observe that the paint is very fragile. A little, a little of harder touching, it lets mark, you see that the paint has the tendency to go off very, very easy, um, inacceptable. Uh, I took care, however I needed to protect the instrument and however I have marks, of course, is normal after so many years, but you know, it was simply too fast. At Tyros 3, how you can see, this instrument, it has his age also, but it's in very, very good shape, doesn't have any trace of usage, the paint is a lot, a lot, a lot better, so an advantage here for the Tyros uh, 3. Let's speak uh, normally about the sound because there are so many reviews in which uh, they are presenting audio equipments and they are not speaking about the sound which uh, in my opinion cancel all the value of uh, any review because in the music um, doesn't matter what type of musical equipment, speakers, uh, mixers, keyboards, the sound is the king and the most important thing. For this the peoples they are buying the Genos, because Genos it's ugly and however the people they are buying the Genos for the amazing, the best sound in the world. Here the situation is a little um, interesting, uh, why? Because the Tyros 2 it has a multi-band uh, harmonic exciter, compressor and equalizer in the same time. Uh, which it's analog, it's real, it's a board which can cost 3000 euros to buy it separately. Actually you can use the Tyros 2 for this, for this the sound of Tyros 2, in my opinion, it's bigger, it's uh, fatter, it has... If you, if you can master the sound, you know how to work with this compressor, it's great. Uh, many will write in the comments, yes, uh, but also Tyros 3 has the compressor, yes it has, but it's the same like on Tyros 4, Tyros 5, only a software, is not hardware, it's a piece of the operating system and uh, most important, it's only one band compressor, Adio Exciter Harmonic, Adio Multiband uh, Compression, Adio EQ uh, and all the benefits uh, of this. So yes, you have more dynamic, you have a brighter sound on the Tyros 2 in my opinion and also you can create more bass.
and uh, I'm giving you here a very interesting information. Uh, the mastering effect, this multiband compressor, sounds better on Tyros 2 than on Genos, which is still one band compressor. If you put a Genos through a Tyros 2, it will sound better, the Genos, than uh, without uh, the effect of the Tyros 2. I try it, it's very interesting, but impractical. How can you carry two keyboards all the time? Another minus that I observed at the Tyros 3 uh, is the EQ, the master, the soundboard maybe, how it's uh, created, how they fought the sound. Yes, it's true the both uh, instruments they were recording to this Focusrite uh, audio device without any external EQ, but doesn't matter what I'm doing, on the Tyros 3 I cannot obtain a clear sound. The brightness, the trebles, everything is sounding deeper, bassy, a little muddy like this, um, a little closed, like you will sing from behind a door. This is the feeling. Uh, I tried to compensate, I needed to put the, the trebles almost at maximum, uh, the high ends on the Tyros uh, 3, which on Tyros 2 it wasn't needed. So maybe a small correction, but this it was all. So yes, here the Tyros 3, I regret, in my opinion, it has a big major and big minus, plus the lacking of this multiband compressor and uh, harmonic exciter. I will not speak here about voices, instruments, uh, uh, styles, because these things, they are obvious. You can find them on the Yamaha site uh, or in every manual. I speak about the sound, I'm telling you things that you cannot find on documents, on statistics, on prospects and manuals. Speaking about DSP effects, reverb, chorus, delay and all the others, the Tyros 3 has a slightly better uh, effect module. So yes, they worked at effect, but it's not so impressive. The difference, in my opinion, they are minor. You can feel them if you have good speakers, you can feel them if you have good mixer, if you have good ears, especially good ears, but it's not something that uh, it will make you say wow. The difference is really small, almost at the limit to be able to, to hear it. But it is there, it's a plus, every plus is welcome. The manipulation of uh, the Tyros 3 is simply faster. What is true is true. They work, in my opinion, at processing. When you are loading something, when you are changing a page. It will disaffect you. When you will uh, play live music, not really. Tyros 3 is fast enough. It will help you when you are working with a keyboard, preparing uh, a program, samplers, a registration memory, recording MIDI, searching in menus for many hours, yes, it will help you, it will help you quite a lot. What are you feeling when you are touching the keyboard? Uh, the Tyros 2 it has a more piano-like experience, no, don't believe that it will feel like a piano, no, it will feel light enough uh, for a keyboard player to like it, to be able to make decent uh, guitar solos. Uh, but at Tyros 3, the keyboard is simply faster. Of course, a pianist it will appreciate maybe more a Tyros 2 than a Tyros 3. Me, for the speed, uh, when I need to make crazy solos, especially on guitar, jazz, I will prefer the Tyros 3 because it's simply faster. Speaking about speed, the loading of samplers is uh, a little faster on Tyros 3. The electrical connection on uh, Tyros 3 is better because it has a rounding. All the time having the microphone connected to the Tyros 2, uh, sometimes when I touched with my lips the microphone, I felt quite strong electric shocks, which it wasn't pleasant and in some um, extreme situations can be also dangerous. Tyros 3 having a grounded uh, electrical alimentation doesn't suffer from this issue. Me, personally, I prefer the Tyros 2. 
for the integration of multiband compressor and uh, simply for the sound for the soundboard it's also my emotional connection with the Tyros 2 that I own for so many years. On the end I want to say that uh, if you need styles, uh, compilations of styles, ballads, country music, rock and roll, you can contact me, uh, we are selling these kind of things, uh, they are very well done and uh, professional. I'm Bogdan Kurta and until at our next meeting, don't forget to create good music, to put a lot of heart, a lot of salt, a lot of sentiments in what you are creating. See you soon with other amazing videos.